Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and scrambling as usual before an upcoming holiday. <laughs> I really wanted to make some more Easter themed projects. Like I've said in previous videos over the last few days, um, yeah, I got so much fun stuff to create with and I had so many plans. So this week's color throwdown challenge, the colors were just perfect. And I have been wanting to use this um, Neat and Tangled Cottontail Cuties set since the minute I ordered it. So I pulled that out and I had this piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock that I trimmed down a bit so it would fit in my mini Misty. And then I was able to line up all the images from the set onto this paper. So I decided to stamp all of them at once. And I am inking them up with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And having to re-stamp it a couple of times because I didn't stamp it perfectly the first time as well as sometimes with brand new stamps, they tend to kind of resist the ink a little bit. That always um, is just kind of par for the course. So one thing that helps though is you can like rub them with your hands, clean them off really well, or use something like the Misty so you can ink it up over and over again. And usually once stamps become kind of seasoned, um, they stamp a lot better. So that's why I like using my Misty though, because it just saves me the hassle of having to fiddle with it. I can just stamp it, stamp it again if I need to, move on. <laughs> so, once I had everything stamped, I am coloring them all in with Copic markers and I super sped this up because I didn't do anything fancy. I'm just adding some color. I kept the colors really light. I've said this um, again recently about how I generally have a hard time keeping colors light and leaving more white space in that. I tend to be more heavy handed, but I really like the look of having some white space. It just makes the colors kind of pop more. Plus, I will be honest, in today's case, I'm literally like, I'm behind this post and card was supposed to be made a couple days ago. I just, everything has been a little bit crazy. So I was like, I want to keep this as simple as possible and just get it done. <laughs> so I kept the coloring really simple and the color combo was inspired by this week's color throwdown challenge, like I said. So that eliminated one big um, obstacle for me time-wise was trying to figure out, you know, what colors to use, yada, yada, yada. Since the colors were all set out, I had the stamps picked out. It was just a matter of um, getting these images colored and moving on from there. So I did my typical kind of skin color, kept the hair really simple, added a little bit of light gray to the little bunny jacket, which I can totally see my kids wearing something like this. So cute. And kept the bunnies the same, that light gray to kind of make it look more white than anything. And then the color challenge was basically kind of coral, yellow, and green. So that's the colors I stuck with for everything. Gave her little green boots and all that stuff. And when I was done all my coloring, I went over parts of the images with my Spectrum Noir, Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle pen. And you can see it when I turn the flashlight on my phone, you can see that sparkle, which I just love. Subtle, yet there. And I'd also used my white gel pen to add a few little polka dots here and there and a few little highlights just to, you know, give it that little extra something. And when I was done with all of that, I got the coordinating die set out and I'm just taping them all into place with just some micropore tape so that I can run this through my die shot and big shot and die cut everything in one pass. So again, just saves me some time. <laughs> so once I had everything die cut, I was like, okay, hey, I want to make really simple cards with these and decided to do four bar size cards because they're smaller. I didn't want to do a bunch of layering or anything like that. I want, like I said, want to get these simple, get them done. So I got out some Bristol smooth cardstock and I cut them down to three and a half inches by nine and three quarters. So they will be top folding four bar size cards. So four and seven eighths by three and a half. And I chose Bristol Smooth because I wanted to see how the Distress Oxide inks blend on Bristol Smooth and they blend like a dream. Just, oh, so much better. And regular Distress inks as well blend amazingly on Bristol Smooth. It just, the ink just, it sits on top for a little bit longer. So it just glides a little bit better. So I only used one dis, uh, Distress Oxide ink. I used Cracked Pistachio. I just thought the green would look really good. One with the color combo and two kind of as a background for these images. So I sponged the color on with the um, blending tool and then kind of wiped everything off my surface and then decided to do the inside as well, just along the bottom. So normally I would use, you know, a scrap piece of paper, but I was literally flying by the seat of my pants to get these done. <laughs> so I just quickly blended it right on my craft mat, would wipe away the ink with my um, baby wipe and then just use my hand to remove any moisture so I don't wreck the card. And then once I was done with all that, I just grabbed a paintbrush 
and got it wet with clean water and I'm just tapping it against my fingers to create a little bit of a fine splatter. This time I didn't want to use my distress sprayer because I find my distress sprayer, it creates like a larger splatters and it just, it's more intense, which I usually like. But for this, I wanted to be kind of just subtle and just a nice little bit of splatter. So that's why I did it this way. And plus I could go in with the brush, and just add little blobs of water exactly where I wanted them. So again, because I only did a really light amount of ink, this is a really little subtle effect. But when you look at the cards when they're done, it just gives it that little tiny bit of extra texture that didn't take, you know, a whole lot of work. So I did those, let that dry. And then for the sentiment, there are all the sentiments are from the same Cottontail Cuties stamp set. So I kind of fiddled around and figured out where I wanted to place it and decided to just stamp it in the center of the front of the card. And I used my um, Mini Misty again for this because again, brand new stamps. I wanted to make sure they stamp perfectly. And I'm glad I did because it didn't stamp perfectly the first time. So I ended up stamping it three times on the first card here and then decided to stamp it in the exact same place on the second card. Just made sure that it didn't get in the way of the image I'm gonna use. So I stamped that and then in that set, there's these two little like grass lines and I thought those would be perfect to kind of frame that little um, standing image. So again, made sure everything was kind of lined up in my Misty, got those inked up with that same um, intense black ink and then double stamped it. So once I'm done stamping the outside of the cards, I can flip these over and stamp sentiments on the inside. So there's several sentiments in this set. So I lined up the first one, you are my um, cottontail cutie. So got that lined up on the inside of the card and then same thing, closed the lid of my Misty, inked it up, stamped it after I'm making sure, double checking it was straight and stamped that on the inside, inked it up a second time, even a third time, just cause I missed a couple little spots. And then for the second card, I just removed the Cottontail Cutie and lined up Honey Bunny and got that lined up, made sure again that everything was straight before closing that lid. So I could ink it up, stamp it on the inside of this little card and then ink it up a second time and stamp it. So once I'm done with all my sentiments, I can pop these little images onto my card. I just tore up um, pieces of foam tape. So they'd be popped up with a little bit of dimension. So got that all into place and then decided um, that little flower from the set that I had colored and die cut. I just adhered that flat to the one card with a little dab of Tombow Mono Multi. And then on the inside of the card, that's where I'm gonna adhere these little bunnies and there's that extra little egg and the little carrot. So I just adhered those into place with that same Tombow Mono Multi. And then as a final bit of embellishment with these cards, I pulled out my Pretty Pink Posh Sparkling Clear, the Sparkling Clear Mix sequins, as well as the Sparkling Clear 3 millimeter sequins, which are super tiny. And I was very conservative with these. I only added three to each card. <laughs> so a three in three different sizes, a little tiny one, and then a small one, and then a medium one to each card, just to give it that little extra something. And I'm gonna adhere those into place with my Ranger Multimedium Matte Adhesive and just use my Crystal Katana to place these sequins. And that finished off these cards really quick, really simple. Easter is almost here. I am I feel good at least I got to use this stamp set. Um, it's so adorable. So as always, there will be links below the video to my blog post, links to all the supplies used. Check that out below if you are interested and make sure to check out my blog if you wanna play along with this color challenge. It's open to everyone. It's just something fun that we like to do and you know, think outside the box and all that. So again, thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.